What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Anthony. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today is Wednesday, so y'all already know what that means. It's the Moon Knight series? Season? Could we get another season? I don't know. But it is the finale of either the whole series or season one. Who knows? But the finale is here, y'all. I'm so fucking hyped. I don't really know what to expect beyond the typical of a big-ass battle between the protagonist and the antagonist, right? So we know that uh, Moon Knight and uh, Harrow is going to throw down this episode. Because they got to. They got to. Because the last episode, you know, we saw the souls kind of falling down uh, into, what is it called? The, the Juad or whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm messing that up. But we saw the souls coming down, which means that uh, Harrow should have the full uh, emit power. He, I'm assuming he's going to be her avatar or, uh, and we're going to have a big ass battle, man. Uh, the, of course the, the, the big things I'm going to be wondering for this episode are one, are we going to get, um, Steven back? We got to get Steven back. We, bro, we, we got to get Steven back. I'm going to be upset if we don't get Steven back. And then two, how is Mark going to get the Moon Knight power back? How is he going to become Contra's avatar again? And then what's that dialogue between Mark and Contra going to be like? Is Mark going to be like, yo, look, if I free you this time, like, we doing shit my way. Like, you're not going to run me like you did before. Da, 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 da. Like, I wonder if they're going to set some boundaries or whatever. And then, you know, try to uh, let me work together a little bit better. So that we can, you know, get Moon Knight consistently moving forward throughout the entire uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, but that's some of the things I'm expecting. Other than that, man, I don't know how this is going to go. How this is going to conclude. How this is going to wrap up. Are we going to get some teases for maybe Doctor Strange in Multiverse of Madness, which I'm watching tomorrow because I'm recording this on Wednesday. So I'll be watching Doctor Strange tomorrow and I'm definitely going to do an out of, out of, theater, out of theater reaction for that. Uh, but will it t you know lead to something uh, within the movies or another series? I don't know, man, but I'm fucking excited. So uh, let's get into uh, Moon Knight Season 1, Episode 6, Gods and Monsters. Ah, uh, shit, here we go, yo. Moon Knight season finale, baby. Let's go. I can't wait to see Moon Knight in, uh, you know, future MCU projects, man. I want to see him uh, even more action and see more of his capabilities. I'm hoping to see a lot more of that in this episode, too. I'm glad she's able to take him out stealthily like that. Hey, we got the Mel Gasol shit. Let's go. She bad, dude. She bad. Whoa, that shit has turned into a fucking X. You know what it makes it even more track is the fact that, you know, she lost her father and similar circumstances of, you know, searching in these historical Egyptian sites and things like that. And here she's lost, you know, her husband, uh, kind of in similar manners, you know, going after something's fucking, that shit sucks. Makes it even more tragic, you know, lost two people that, you know, she truly loved. What's your soul? Damn. My dude got it like that now? God damn. It just obliterated them. So he doesn't transform like Kanchu does. And I think they, I think they mentioned that in that, uh, that one prison courtyard scene where it's like, uh, you know, you like that old ancestral armor shit we don't do that shit they're talking about like avatars and stuff it'd been kind of cool if he had some sort of suit though i don't know and you can be my avatar mark says wonderful things about you no 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 i'll fight him on my own it's time to go oh that would have been interesting if she chose to be her avatar i want to you know what that what would have happened with that you know what i mean she seems like a nice god though i don't think she would have been a bad avatar to to have you know what i'm saying she seems like a, like a one of the nicer gods or whatever. So is Hera really about to take on all of those, you know, gods essentially? Like, damn, she his avatar must be strong as fuck. Damn, it's fucking Ahmed, dude. Do not let the pain of the past control you. As you wish. 
Damn, okay. So, but dang, he was fighting those guys even without having the avatar yet? That's fucking crazy. But Ahmed looks dope, dude. Honshu, time has been cruel to you. Indeed. I cannot allow you to proceed. Damn, that's kind of that's hard how Kanji showed up like that. That was dope as fuck. I wonder how Ahmed is walking around but still Hero's avatar. I wonder how that works. Like, she, like... It seems like Ahmed's visible to everybody. No, I'm not good with that. Wait, think about this. Hell yeah, Mark. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's my dude. You speak of balance, yet you choose him. Your avatar is a sinner. You're jealous of his loyalty. Loyalty at what cost? An empty world? Damn. That's crazy. That whole interaction. And also, the guys just look so dope. I like the way that they uh, made them look in the show. You're always there. The line, full of hope. And I tried to protect that, and I failed. I couldn't protect you. Damn, this is touching. This is, this is a powerful moment right now. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> Hippo. Man, I'm so glad we got our boy Steven back, baby. Let's go. Man, I love Steven, man. You, I'm, as I said, you gotta have them both together. You gotta have them both together. Can't you? I knew you'd miss me. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think you can take this one, Mark. Hurry up, idiots. Damn. Let's go. And I knew they were going to try to work out some deal. I knew that was going to happen. It's like, yo, I saved you. Now you have to negotiate and do something for me. We need more avatars than we have. <laughs> Damn, all the avatars are dead now. I mean, shit. Oh, your father is going to be over the moon when he hears. <laughs> That's dope, man. What's your name? Twi Twilight? Yeah, that's dope. Damn, my dude is flying. And man, he looks so fucking tight. That's dope. Judge everyone. Whoa, so now the followers can all judge people? Damn, so now they got like a whole army fucking instantly. That's wild. Whoa, this shit just got real like full on like fantasy shit. Like, damn. Yo. That's a fire ass suit. I like that. That's dope. She need to keep that avatar. Oh. Okay. That's hard. That's tough. Here we go. Oh, we need him. Damn, let's go, Layla. That's hard. Oh, shit. See with the hand to hand. Oh, he going hard. Oh, that's raw. Yeah, this is the hardest shit so far. This is the hardest episode. Yo, Steven is hard now. I like that. I like that they're like in, in sync now. Yo, that's hard. She's like, I am. You got, she got to keep it now. She got to keep the avatar, man. Damn, everybody's getting fucked up. How are they gonna get out of this one? That's a hard shot, by the way. So, was that the Jake? The Jake personality we haven't seen yet? It's too late, Dummy. 
you will be destroyed. Damn. This shit is crazy. Damn, the, the special effects in this episode are fucking insane. Some good VFX. You want them dead? Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Hell yeah, that's right. So, so what, this is what reality looks like? This, the imagination is very real. We're back here? What the fuck? Hey, this guy is. I don't really get that part, to be honest. I'm not really understanding that. Steven, you there? Mm. Can't believe really it worked. There's two fish now. That's cool. Signifying their relationship now, like they're together. I cannot Wait. Is it going off like that, though? Like that. That's not even a full conclu conclusion. I mean, they stop, you know, Hero and Amit, but I thought they'd give us a little bit more, like, like what's going to happen to him now, like how, where we're going to go from here. You know, he, he Contra, well, released him. We don't know for sure, but it seems like they did get released. So, and I, I, in the interviews, for the show, they said that it, the Moon Knight would be part of MCU. So is he going to like get that power back at some point? And did Layla keep the Avatar for uh, the Hippo God? Like Tyler or whatever her name is? Oh, man, I would have liked to have get a, I would have got, liked to have gotten just a little bit more at the end of there. It's still a fantastic episode. I, I loved all of it, but I wish we could have got a little bit more. Maybe we'll get something in like a mid or post credit scene or something, but Damn, man. That's over already. Six episodes is just too short. This is not enough material, man. Like, I feel like we didn't get to enjoy it as long as as we want, as we wanted to. You know what I mean? Like, damn, it's already over. Now on to the next show. Fantastic show, though. I fucking, I, I, I love this show. I love the Moon Knight character even more now. And I, I didn't even know who, who Moon Knight was before this. So, I'm all about Moon Knight now, man. Especially this last episode, seeing him fight. Hell yeah. Okay, here we go. This is a mid credit scene. Hmm. What's going on here? <laughs> what the fuck? Meet my friend. Jake Lockley. Wait. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. See, that's what I needed right there. That's what I needed. Fucking Jake Lockley didn't let. So somehow he worked it out where Conchu is still rocking with Jake Lockley, but er, but the other two don't even know. I don't know how that's working out in the mind, but that's what's happening. I guess that that explains how when he said, uh, you know, so you know. So as you wish or whatever, and they just like appeared in the bed, right? Maybe fucking, maybe Jake took over and was like, "Nah, fuck that! Like, I still want to rock with you. Like, I like, I like this aspect." And I and I saw some of the videos are saying that Jake Lockley, you know, was a cab driver and stuff like that. Um. So it was cool to see him, like, kind of. Well, he's in a limo, but he kind of looked like a cab driver. He had that look to him. Um. And I saw that that uh, that that car said Spectre on it. 
uh, like a little license plate said Spectre too. Interesting. Uh, so is who's got all the money? Is it Jake Lockley's got all that money, or what does that mean? But uh, that shit is tough. So they Moon Knight still there, baby. Moon Knight is still there. Let's go. All right, y'all. So that was the finale of uh, the Moon Knight uh, season one series, whatever. Uh, it was the finale uh, for at least this first season or limited series or whatever. And man, that shit was fire, man. That's that's a that was a dope ass episode action wise. And we still got some good story elements, too. But definitely like heavy on the action showcasing powers, man. Layla became was a the the hippo gods uh, avatar, so we got to see her in action. I'm hoping that she stays the avatar, so we can see her, you know, do some dope shit. We had that incredible uh, post credit scene where we finally got to see Jake Lockley like like full on in control. Um, and I thought it was cool to save that for that teaser at the very end, and and still basically see that maybe he's still Conchu or still Moon Knight, maybe. Yeah, that, that, I, could, I didn't really fully understand that that element too much, um, but we could definitely talk about it. So uh, let's take some time just to go over some things, the things I liked, all that good shit. Let's dive into the episode a little bit. So just like with the other episodes, man, the performance is fucking off the charts. I mean, even uh, I don't know the actress's name, but the the but the woman that plays Layla, even she did the you know the 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 dual voice thing with her avatar. That was incredible. Uh, you know, great performances from Oscar Isaac as as usual. That first moment near the beginning of the episode, where you know he was sharing you know his 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 you know true inner feelings with Stephen about how grateful he is to Stephen who helped him out when he's younger through all that traumatic ab- abuse that he experienced as a kid. Uh, that was a real touching emotional moment. Uh, great you know delivery and performance from Oscar Isaac. Harold with an incredible perfor- uh, Harold. Ethan Hawke with an incredible performance as well, man. Just everyone did a fantastic job. The people voicing the gods, uh, Kanju's uh, and uh, Ahmed's voice a- uh, voice actors. Just a this is a fucking banger of episode and just some banger ass performances, man. Everyone killed it. Another big thing was the visual effects, man. The visual effects were popping this episode. I really liked the way the gods looked. It was dope to see the gods like fighting it out, like some Godzilla versus King Kong type shit. Uh, especially some of the shots were dope with that too. Like that shot when, when uh, Arthur Harrell was walking up a moon night, was laying on the ground and he's looking up and you see in the background like Ahmed whooping Conchu's ass. Man, that was a dope shot. Um, so some great like just general uh, camera work and just overall visuals, uh, visual effects uh, from the episode. And of course, this episode delivered on the visual aspect too, uh, with the colors and uh, the the effects and. Uh, uh, I guess combined with that was the choreography. Uh, I feel like the action choreography in this episode was a lot better than uh, the previous episodes, like that episode where he's fighting the people in that like horse arena or whatever. Uh, the the fight choreography in this was fucking hard as fuck. Like when Steven took control and shout out to my boy Steven because he's back and he was whooping ass in this episode in his suit. When he started doing that hand hand combat, kind of reminded me of like you know some of the Daredevil scenes. I was like, damn, like they're actually. Like this shit is kind of dope, and then you know him and uh, him and Layla like working together, like you know feeding off each other, like like some fucking like you know Cap and um, uh, Winter Soldier, like when they beating shit out of Tony, like some stuff like that, man. Like the combos and stuff together. Got to see more gadgets. Got to see Moon Knights. Apparently, Moon Knight can fly to a certain extent. I don't. I mean, shit, look like he can fly. Um, but I mean, all that stuff is just so dope, man. I love the costumes. I like uh, the, the costume for Layla in avatar mode. I, I, I like her costume. Um, of course the Moon Knight costume looks hard as fuck. I, I, I've said from the beginning, that I like the way, uh, the Moon Knight costume looks. Um, but that was all dope, man. Just another banger episode, man. It's a great finale, great conclusion. I myself feel very, I'm very pleased with, with the series as a whole. Like, I feel really good. It introduced me to Moon, to Moon Knight, introduced me to Mark Spector, Stephen Grant. And we even got a little tease of Jake Lockley, which I'm sure we'll see more of in some future MCU projects. Uh, but that made credit scene was dope, man. Because, you know, at the end of the thing, I was like, damn, man, I, I really wish they could have gave us a little bit more of, like, where this is going to go. So getting to see, you know, uh, Jake Lockley and seeing that he still has some sort of relationship with Conchu. Now, I don't know if that means that he was able to keep the moon knight 
you know, avatar mode action going, or he's just working with Kanchu. I'm not really sure, but Kanchu was sitting up in that limo like it was his. So, I mean, I don't really know, but, you know, Kanchu mentioned that, you know, Mark Spector's got bigger problems than he realizes. And I'm going to assume that what he's saying is they don't, him and Steven don't really know Jake Lockley uh, at all, it seems. And that part is somehow just completely separated and cut off from them. I don't, I, I kind of wonder like where the origin of that personality came from uh, and how is he s- such a block between uh, both of them, um, especially considering he was like locked in sarcophagus when they're going through the whole, um, you know, death thing, death thing and all that shit, uh, you know, super interesting. Um, what else? Now, one thing I will say is like, you know, with all these Disney shows, they're only six episodes, right? So you can only get so much in terms of like story and uh, plot and action and just development and stuff. And with, I feel like within that six episode time frame, I feel like they did a fantastic job, but I think it would have been even better if it was a, like a 10 episode season. So we could spend a little bit more time with these characters and the pacing wouldn't be so fucking fast. Cause it is, you know, the pacing is in this episode is really fucking fast. Um, not to say that it's, that uh, it was bad or anything, but you know, they have to work with that six episode structure. And I, I think they should start, pushing that out a little bit, maybe to like 10. I understand they're probably doing six to try to get more shows out, especially considering how the MCU works and how everything ties in together. Having shorter uh, seasons allows more, uh, you know, more shows. And I guess it's easier to kind of slot them between movies and things like that. Like I get it, but it's just like, damn, like that shit goes by so quick and you want a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Um, But yeah, what else we got, man? I mean, just in general, just a, just a dope episode, man. It, uh, another thing I want to mention is the music. I love the music in this, in the, in the whole series too. That's a, that was another plus. Um, but I'm definitely ex- excited to watch some of the, the um, like Easter egg, like from new rock stars and uh, geek culture explain and stuff like that. I'm, I'm interested to watch some of their videos to see kind of um, what things I might've missed in this episode, especially with it being the finale. I'm sure there's some things in there, especially that last uh, Jake uh, Lockley person uh, portion uh, I wonder what they're going to say about that, because I'm sure, I'm sure within that scene, and just the whole car setup and all that stuff, I'm sure people can pick it apart and, and figure some shit out, so I'm definitely interested to see what their thoughts on that are, coming from that comic book perspective, and shedding a little bit more uh, light and scope on what could be going on in the future of the MCU for Moon Knight, and is Jake Lockley going to be like a, almost like a villain character to Steven and Mark, like are Steven and Mark going to be pitted against themselves you know with jake lockley that'll be an interesting angle because jake lockley's ruthless as fuck you know he's he just he just likes to fuck shit up and you know um marcus even are more like you know conscious conscious with their choices and things like that so i'm going to be interested to see how they're going to handle when the inevitable confrontation happens and you know what's going to go down and just in general how is moon knight going to be used in the mcu considering the finale of this episode like when are we going to see him again that that's another interesting question um also like how these gods will tie into um you know stuff in the mcu as well uh and you know i got moon knight i mean moon knight i got dr strange watching tomorrow will we get some hints of like moon knight or something in dr strange that'd be dope as fuck too and i'm wondering what's going to be in the mid and post credit scene for that movie um but yeah I, i mean just Man, Moon Knight is dope, man. He's he's about to become one of my favorites. Uh, I, I like to see a little bit more of him, but just off that last episode, man, I'm like, damn, like, yo, I'm a Moon Knight fan. Like, this dude is fucking hard, bro. He is raw, man. And so is Layla. Like, them two together, man, that's going to be fire. Um, But damn, I almost feel like they have to do a season two. Or, shit, just fuck it. Just do a Moon Knight movie. I mean, shit. Like, that character, man, that, that whole, his whole, like, story and everything uh that shit's like movie quality like they could definitely do a moon knight movie and they fucking should based off of this stuff because the the material and the quality of it is there uh in terms of you know the character and the plot and all that stuff they can definitely make a banger ass movie so fuck it like do a movie and that'd be dope too um but my overall thoughts of moon knight as a series dope man i really enjoyed the series uh, I don't really have any two. I don't really have like many big complaints. I'm sure like I have no attachment. To, I have no attachment to the comics whatsoever. So like everything for me is a first introduction. And so for me, this was dope. Like I, I thought it was dope as fuck. Like I'm a Moon Knight fan, Stephen Grant fan, Mark Spector fan. Um, 
uh, Layla fan, like the Hippo God fan, like, bro, I thought this was excellent uh, TV. Um, and I really want to see uh, Moon Knight and Layla in future MCU projects, maybe in a season two or movie or something. Um, I, 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 I love the series, man. Moon Knight fan, 100%. Um, and I'm looking forward to whatever they got in store for us in the future for Moon Knight. Uh, but what did y'all think about the finale? Um, you know, did you enjoy the final battle? Did you enjoy the, the story progression? Do you like where they left it off? Do you like seeing, like how they're handling Jake Lockley? Do you like how they're handling things in general? And where do y'all think they're going to take this moving forward in the MCU? Are we going to get a Moon Knight season two? Are we going to see him in his own movie? Are we going to see him in just, you know, someone else's movie? Like, how are they going to handle Moon Knight moving forward? And when will we see him again? Hopefully in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. I don't know, but man, I'm hoping and I can't wait to watch that movie too. Uh, but let me know in the comments what y'all thought about uh, the finale and the series as a whole. Uh, did y'all think was a just a, as a whole was just a banger ass series? Was there some things missing that you were hoping to see? Uh, what are some of your favorite things? What are some things you didn't like? You know, drop all that stuff down in the comments, man. I love to uh, love to discuss that with y'all. Uh, we got the Obi Wan Kenobi show coming up on May twenty seventh. I will be reacting to the entire series for that. Um, also, like I mentioned, I'm gonna watch Dark Strange tomorrow, so I'm gonna do a fresh out of theater. A review for that maybe i'll do like an in-depth spoiler video on that too uh or something um but yeah if you made it to the end of the video man thank you for watching the whole entire video make sure you like subscribe hit the, hit the notification bell so you get notified when i drop new videos and again drop all your thoughts in the comments down below for moon night man let's talk about it i love to hear what y'all think again thanks so much for watching i'll see you on the next one peace